As monsoon 2022 moved through the valley yesterday morning, we were treated to quite the light show in the sky. A big thanks to our 12 News Weather Watcher for capturing and sharing this fantastic video with us. And living here in Arizona during monsoon season, we are all familiar with just how much lightning can be spotted during a storm. Well, this morning, meteorologist Crystal Henderson breaks down just how lightning forms and how dangerous it can be. Lightning. Monsoon's magical masterpiece, a perfect photo op, but a deadly danger up close. Let's back things up here and check this out. There's ice at the top of every thunderstorm. This creates charge separation, positive up top, negative at the bottom of the cloud, and yikes, positive on the ground. While this negatively charged step leader is on its way down, this positively charged streamer shoots up from the ground. The air is rapidly heated. We're talking five times hotter than the sun here. It expands violently, triggering a shockwave we hear as thunder. Voila, and you've completed the circuit. Each bolt, by the way, is no bigger than the thickness of a pencil, but it's enough to power your house for more than a week. Lightning is a very good indicator of the intensity of a storm. Get this, in 2005 in Mesa. I've never seen anything like this. It was like almost like a bomb going off. There was a bolt so powerful. My dad was actually sleeping in his bedroom and it knocked him off of his bed. It was detected by lightning sensors in Canada. Soil from the yard was thrown against the side of a house a block away from where it hit. We looked it up. It was 700 and about 20 kiloamps, which is just about as strong as you can possibly get. That's about 29 times the intensity of the average lightning bolt. Three things spark more lightning and potentially more powerful strikes. An intense updraft, lots of moisture, and changing wind speed and wind direction as you go up in the storm. Since light travels faster than sound, we may see the lightning, but not always hear the thunder. You can count how far away it is. Every five seconds is a mile. It doesn't have to be raining where it strikes. Lightning can travel as far as 30 miles away from a storm. And lightning lights up Arizona with an average of two and a half million strokes every year. 75% of that is ignited during the middle of monsoon in July and August, most between noon and evening. Arizona ranks in the top 10 for lightning caused deaths. July is the deadliest month and Saturday the deadliest day. People are outdoors more on weekends, cooling off at the pool or outdoors in the high country. You know the drill. When thunder roars, go indoors. Not just a saying that rhymes, but one that could save your life. Now you have a better picture of just how beautiful but dangerous lightning can be.